What's going on YouTube? First snow of the year. Wouldn't you know it? And it's on. Oh, shit. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess we're not taking the vet today. I guess we're taking the cruise. Oh, this uh, blows. <laughs> no pun intended. Whew, it's chilly. Ugh. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> I don't even know if Copart's a feasible deal today. I guess we're gonna run out to Copart and uh, see if we can find anything worth bidding on this week. If we can even see, I, I don't know. With this kind of snow, we may not be able to even see any of the cars out there. We may have to bid on them like sight unseen this week. Oh, the flag, the flag fell again. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's head out to Copart. All right, guys, this is dedication right here. <laughs> Jessica came with me, my executive assistant, but she won't be on camera. You want to be on camera? Nope, <laughs> she don't want to be on camera. Number one on my list is a Range Rover. I just thought this would be an interesting one for you guys. This is not for Weird Beard, not in any way, shape, or form. Uh, he's not interested in this. But I think that said, I think that's the B word. And I was like, okay, cool. What is this? Like, what is what is going on? You see it said bio, but it looks like that got marked out. And then I opened the door very cautiously. And here's what I saw. And I'm telling you, my first reaction was, was feces. I was like, someone literally wiped crap all over this car. Well, upon closer inspection, these are eggshells. These are, these are brown eggshells. Someone literally threw eggs all over this person's car. I'd buy it, just needs cleaned. Of course, it looks like the airbags on the passenger side might be sitting a little low. <laughs> yeah, it's sitting a little low on this side. I don't know, man. <laughs> I think it's a cheater. Cheater, cheater. Look, ladies and gentlemen, you got to bear with me. Because it's snowing, it is literally wind blowing, freezing cold, and I'm dying out here. We are not going to do this thing in order. Usually I organize these videos between, you know, the normal cars and Carter's last. We are going to go in whatever order uh, we run into these things. <laughs> so, <laughs> forgive me. No, we're not doing Carnage yet. We're just, we're just going to... Oh man, look, my feet are sinking into the into the dang mud. Here's we got a whew, my hands are frozen, man. What is this? A Nissan uh Nissan Altima, I guess. I don't know. Hell I can't even see it. Yeah, it's an Altima. Ooh! She took a uh boy, she took a hard hit. A real hard hit. Moving on, this Corvette right here, Jessica warns me that this is going to be me someday, the way I drive, which she's crazy. I'm a great driver. I don't speed. I never go over the speed limit. So I don't know what she's talking about, but she seems to think that, uh, I guess maybe we should just sell the vet, I guess, if it's that bad, right? Oh man, there's blood all over the steering wheel. Goodness. Uh, dang. And the door. Yeah. I mean, it was a hard hit, no doubt. You could see that from the from the front of the car there. I hope whoever it was is all right. There's a Dodge Ram. It took a pretty high hit. You can see the bumper's all right. But everything from about the core support up is just trashed, man. That's fixable. It's fixable. I mean, it's rough, but it's fixable. Boy, that wind is blowing. There's wind noise. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a Toyota Solara. 
I love these cars. I really do. I've always had a thing for the Solara. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's a great looking car, man. Great looking car. Hey, we're going to speed right through these today, people. As uh, I'm freezing. And out of all these cars I'm showing you guys, there's only like six I'm even interested in this week. So I hope you enjoy the video. So here's one I'm kind of interested in. Yes, I'm aware of the North Star problems. I'm well aware of the head gasket issues. I'm well aware of, actually, it's really the head bolts that pull out of the cylinder heads. Um, these North Stars are very, very risky cars. And I am aware of that. But it's a good looking Eldorado. It's pretty high mileage. Um, a North Star with 190,000 miles on it, somebody has probably done a time cert kit on it. Uh, North Stars don't tend to make it <laughs> to 190,000. Um, of course, there's transmission issues associated with these Cadillacs too. The, uh, whew, the torque converter solenoid, I believe, likes to go out, or the lockup solenoid likes to go out, and you have to remove the transmission for that. Uh, not a bad looking Eldorado though. Not a bad looking Eldorado, but definitely risky. And that pearl white paint, man, it's it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. You guys remember the uh, Mini? The Mini that all of you like, overwhelmingly, <laughs> all of you said, stay away from the Mini. Well, it got relisted. And now it's, it's saying it's a run and drive. So, obviously this plastic here has seen better days it's definitely getting a little snow and ice in it Ugh, that door's a little little stiff they're trying to find the key for it because last week it was not a run and drive last week it didn't have a key but this week it does have a key and now it says it does run and drive uh by now is 950 on this so i know you said stay away from it but uh i'm definitely interested to hear it run and uh you know maybe maybe Never had a Mini before, it'd be kind of cool. All right, moving on. How about another Carnage vehicle? Subaru Forester. Man. And some of these cars, you just wonder like, what, what did you hit? This looks like it was uh, something in the shape of a tree, a pole, I don't know. I'm not sticking around to look at it. I felt this was an interesting one to show you. This is like a Ford Fiesta. This is a theft recovery. Um, boy, look at my feet, man. Look at this. Uh, the radiator is ripped out from underneath of it. But this one is covered in bullet holes. Like, this one got peppered. Look at this. This thing got peppered. This car has 8,000 miles on the odometer. Although to be honest with you, I'm not sure there's anything left in it that's worth anything other than scrap metal. All right, here we've got a little bit older of a Mercedes. This is a dealer only car, 150,000 miles on the clock. It's a little one. It's a C280. Overall, it's a good looking car. Uh, interior is definitely dirty. And you can definitely hear a power steering whine from under the hood here. Let's see if we can open this hood. It might be frozen. All right, well, we got the hood open. Of course, the hood doesn't want to stay open. So we could, sh we could for sure hear that power steering whine real good under here. So probably got a power steering leak or a power steering pump going bad. She runs solid though, shifts right into gear. Not too shabby. Ouch. Damn, that hood just fell on my hand. Here's the dash. Not too bad. Black Friday deals at Jay Z. 
Oh, it'd be nice if we had some heated seats in here somewhere. Whew. I think this may be uh, this may be too small of a car to have that option, I guess. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. What do you guys think? I like it. 28 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's time to go. How many of you know what this is? Well, I have not seen one of these in a while. A fair lady, right? 300Z with 80, what she got, 80, 89,000 miles on her. What a beautiful old girl. Better than blessed. Makes you wonder why it's at Copart, right? Thing looks phenomenal. Oh man, clean. Sadly, it's an automatic. And I'm sure this is the NA, not the uh, not the turbo, but still a beautiful specimen anyway. Here's a uh, donated E500 with 114,000 miles on it. So that's uh, that's pretty low miles for something this old. And the E500's got that V8. So I am kind of torn between the black bins and the uh, this silver one here because the black one's got 150,000 miles on it. So significantly more miles. This one, however, seems to be a little bit dirtier. This one's definitely in need of a deep cleaning. This one is dead also. It will not, uh, will not fire up. But I mean, it's not a bad looking car. Not a bad looking car at all. I did notice in the pictures from Copart, this one said, uh, had a big red brake light on screaming like, don't drive, stop immediately. Let's see if we can get this hood open. So this thing was just, uh, this thing was screaming to stop the car due to a brake fault. Uh, so I suspect maybe a broken brake line, but you look over here and I don't know if you can see it, but the brake system looks clean and full. But what we do have is we've got a delete kit for the aromatic suspension. So someone has switched this to coilovers very recently. You can see this is fresh. Uh, the nuts, bolts, this is all fresh. So somebody has already changed this over, which is good. That's good because the aromatic's known to be problematic. It's got coolant. The coolant looks good. I don't believe these come with a, an oil dipstick, so uh, it's all electronic. There's your aromatic compressor right there. I believe that's the aromatic compressor. Someone for sure will correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, both struts on the front, and I'm sure if they did the front, they went with the backs too. I'm trying to get this oil cap off, but I can't. So we're just gonna, <laughs> we're not even gonna bother. It does look like maybe it was parked for a while. We've got a lot of, uh, mouse looking stuff down there where mice or rats have made a nest it really makes you wonder why this thing was parked i don't know maybe worth running a carfax on it you can see up here where rodents have just chewed it up so this thing has been parked for quite a while that's concerning that's very concerning that uh that right there kind of makes me want to stay away from it what do you think what do you think the silver E500 or the black, I don't even know what that is, a C280, I think is what it was. Which one would you get? Comment below. How about a 90s era Toyota Camry? This is a good looking car. Really doesn't look bad at all. She started right up. This is out of all the cars I looked at today, only two have started. One was the black Benz, it's got good tires, and the other one. <laughs> was this Camry. Good tires, matching good years. 218,000 miles, but she shifts right into gear. She fired right up, even in the freezing cold. I mean, I don't know if you can see, we got snow blowing. It's in the 20s. The old girl fired right up like it was nothing. It's a good looking car. Ah, uh, whew. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm literally freezing. So is my fiance. She's ready to get out of here. She's not happy with me right now. Oh. 
see what we're working with under here. So there's your typical Toyota motor. Uh, basically, it's like a slant four the way they got it stuffed in here like this. Boy, she runs good. She runs good. We got a timing belt replacement, 324.06 of at 143,000 miles. And that looks like the only timing belt replacement sticker we've got. Let's check the transmission. Transmission fluid is pretty dark. Pretty dark. Good pressure on the cooling system. It's heating up nicely. It doesn't look like... Doesn't look like she's leaking anything. At least not from up here. I'm not climbing on this muddy ground to look underneath it, though. Whew. Ah, sit in this heat real quick. <laughs> My fiance is giving me a dirty look. Dirty, dirty look. Okay, so the heat's good. I tried the AC, but I don't think the AC works. No, nah, when I push the AC button, it doesn't do anything different. So, AC doesn't work. Negative one degree Celsius. So there's one more car that we haven't found yet, and that's a Lexus I was wanting to look at, but quite honestly, it's just too damn cold. And uh, a couple of these cars that I wanted to hear run, we weren't able to hear them run. Um, so we probably need to come back tomorrow. It's gonna be even colder tomorrow, but it's not supposed to be snowing. Tomorrow's auction day. Oh, the AC just kicked on. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting in the Copart car you know warming up a little bit and making sure the engine doesn't overheat or anything it's it's good to let them run for a few minutes make sure nothing overheats uh and and when it's this cold out there's nothing wrong with sitting there trying to catch a little bit of heat uh, i think we're gonna get out of here though um if the weather's any better tomorrow we'll come back and look around otherwise uh for me i feel like it's really between the black mercedes and this white Toyota Camry. I know the Camry's got a lot of miles on it, um, but it should go cheap. This should be a cheap car. My only concern with the Camry is the transmission. It goes right into gear. Nothing seems out of, out of whack with it. Uh, and the AC does appear to be working right now. But with that many miles, the transmission does concern me since the fluid is so dark. Uh, the black Mercedes concerns me because it's a dealer car and you just don't know why it's here. Um, only dealers can bid on that one. Um, power steering wine that doesn't concern me all that much uh silver mercedes kind of interested in just because it reminds me of the s600 and you remember the s600 had rats under the hood too or or uh rats mice uh, some kind of varmint uh what were they squirrels i think i think squirrels were under the hood of that one and that one turned out to be a pretty damn good car uh so just because there's a rat's nest under the hood it looks like someone was taking care of it because they put some money into those coilovers what do you guys think i don't know i'm seriously torn I, I think we can only get one car this week um so if it was your choice would you go with the black mercedes the c-class the silver mercedes e-class that we know nothing about um or the good, probably old, solid, reliable Toyota Camry that we're sitting in right now. I don't know. <laughs> you guys comment below, tell me what you would buy, and then I guess we'll catch up after the auction. And we'll see if we won anything, and if we did, God forbid, if I made a bad decision. <laughs> I got a thing for Mercedes. I really do. I've got the bug. I got the itch. Now, I've seen the doctor. It's not an STD, so uh, it must be love. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here before <laughs> before my fiance freaks out. There's worms in the car? <laughs> All right, we're out of here, folks. Like the video. Comment below what you would do if it was your choice and your money. What would you buy? Stay safe out there, everybody. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. Click the bell icon. Please, please, please give the video a thumbs up. We came out here in the freezing cold to make this for you guys. Please give the video a thumbs up. Stay safe out there, everybody. We'll catch you very soon in the next one.